Hello, I'm Dr. Patty Hughes. People also know me as Dr. Patty. I'm the CEO here at the Greater Los Angeles Agency on Deafness, GLAD. Before I comment about our lawsuit against CNN.com, which was filed back on June 15, 2011, I'll refer to my notes to ensure that I provide you with accurate facts. We contacted CNN.com two times. The two dates are December 2010 and February 2011. We inquired with CNN.com about the lack of captioning on their live videos on their website. There are no captions. Maybe three or four hours later, something will appear like a script, which means that the deaf and hard of hearing community relying on captioning still has to wait several hours in order to obtain the information when hearing people who have their mobile devices are instantly able to obtain the news. When breaking news alerts, many of us who actually have mobile devices are so frustrated with the lack of captioning. And that's the reason for the lawsuit, the lack of captioning on mobile devices and also on the website. There's a new law that was passed requiring any video and movie to be captioned, but the law doesn't apply to online videos which have been edited and uploaded for the news. Information is still missing. So we move forward with the trial. The first level agrees with GLAD that we need access to captioning. CNN.com disagrees, saying that it would be an interference with their First Amendment rights and freedom of speech. CNN.com appealed, and it's being reviewed by three judges. On March 11th, there were three issues that were discussed. First is the cost. It will be a significant increase for CNN.com to caption their online video clips. Remember that CNN is a large company, but the cost is still an issue for CNN. Second, we're requesting online video captioning, which is not said or stated in federal law. And lastly, we are interfering with their rights with editorial decisions on how they report the news. They feel that captioning will confuse the reporter and the reporter will not know what to say within the report. We are just asking for equal access. Hearing people can listen instantly to the news and we want to be able to read the news. That's basically the issue. The judges are discussing these three issues and then they will make their announcement with their decision within two or three months. Glad's position here we are still continuing to fight for our rights for equal access to obtain captioning. Just like hearing people can listen to the news on their mobile phones, their smartphones, their iPads, computers. The bottom line is we are asking for equal access to communication. This information will be posted on our website at www.glad. INC.org. Feel free to check with us for updates. Thank you.